Yet, the opposition won't yield the floor. Get them to call that vote. Why, Davy, I didn't expect you back for a week. I know. Now, Davy, if you're worried about the Indian bill, it's all over. They've already passed it. And they'll have to change their minds. I'm warning you, Crockett. Go in there and you're committing political suicide. You know what I think about your kind of politics? I yield to the gentleman from Tennessee. Mr. Speaker, fellow members of the Congress of these United States, I've stood before you a good many times in fights and fun, and we've had a laugh or two for the good of the country and our own digestions. But you can fold up your grins and put them away, for you'll hear no jokes from Davy Crockett today. You have before you something called an Indian bill. I don't aim to keep you here much longer arguing about it. You've had enough of that already. But before it comes to a vote, I just want to remind you of something. Expansion is a mighty fine thing. Sure, we got to grow, but not at the expense of the things this country was founded to protect. The government's promises set out in the Indian treaties is as sacred as your own work. Expansion ain't no excuse for persecuting a whole part of our people because their skins is red and they're uneducated to our ways. And expansion ain't no excuse for taking Indian lands that was guaranteed to them. You wouldn't be doing the settlers no good voting for this bill. You'd only be making rich men out of the land grabbers and speculators that have been trying to get it passed. Now, just who are these scalawags? Well, one of them could be the president himself using this Congress for his own purpose. But I've known General Jackson for half of my born life, and I'm sure he's got nothing but the good of the country at heart. No, it's just a few thieving varmints hanging on by giving dinners and fancy parties, reaching for whatever they can get a hold of. But there are no count lot about as natural as flies around a molasses barrel. The real scallywags in this here capital of the brave and free is us, you and me. And I'm the worst of the lot. Reckon I've missed as many sessions as any of them, out shooting my mouth off when I should have been here tending to business. It's nobody's fault but our own if a bill like this gets passed. We got a responsibility to this strapping, fun-loving, breeches-busting young bar cub of a country. We got a responsibility to help it grow into the kind of nation the good Lord meant it to be. If we rired up and showed that we were the kind of men our friends and neighbors figured we was when they sent us here, a bill like this would never live long enough to even get on our desk, let alone come to a vote. the knell of his hopes for the White House and fame as well. But he spoke out strong, so the history books tell, and patched up the crack in the Liberty Bell. Davy, Davy Crockett, seeing his duty clear. Davy, Davy Crockett, king of the This has been an ABC Television Network presentation.